Hello and welcome to <laughs> Sorry, allergies. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory. If you're new here, I'd love to welcome you to my world, so don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. Um, it's currently 109 and I just had lunch. It's like 72 degrees outside. I mean, I live in t-shirts all year round because I'm always hot. It was funny because a Facebook friend of mine posted yesterday. She's like, I finally get to wear a t-shirt. And I'm just like, um, that's what I do all the time. I got on some cute sandals and these pants that barely fit me. Um, so the aim of the game is to clean up my lunch mess, take some Claire spray for this allergy issue, cleaning my eyeglasses up a little bit. Um, gather some of my belongings, then make a Starbucks run. I'm still mad over the fact that, like, I went to Dunkin' Donuts on Valentine's Day, and they hardly had anything. Like, they had no donuts, legit, like, no donuts. But, like, they hardly had, like, any, like, bagels or muffins or, like, any other sort of bakery-type items that are not donuts. So... Um, because what I try to do, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, is when I go somewhere, I try to add in a little extra. So, driving in general for me is kind of stressful. It's getting easier in the daytime, but at night it's still a little like, <laughs> um, but it's just funny because I somehow I manage to do it, but it does, like, sometimes when I get home or wherever I'm going, I'm a little flustered and, like, I need to catch my breath, <laughs> but, um... So, you know, that's one thing. Like, just getting in the car and, like, going somewhere, that alone is, like, for me, facing a fear, if you will. I'm not, like, terrified of driving. I just get, like, anxious about it. And I say that's pretty normal for a lot of people. I mean, now I'm just, like, extra anxious and cautious ever since, like, I had a fender bender. Because <laughs> you realize, like, you got to watch out for yourself and what you're doing. But you also have to, like keep an eye out on other people because you like other people are like unpredictable um on the road and stuff and so then I would just like you know go somewhere and then I would like long like pick like longer places to go to so I'm like in the car more so I'm exposing myself to that and now what I do is not a, I mean I can't keep this up forever I don't think cause I'm gonna go broke <laughs> all my revenue like all my income is just gonna go back into like a circle, a cycle of things. So what I do now is start a was Valentine's Day where I went to Dunkin' Donuts, didn't have anything, so I got my dad a, like a, a coffee. And then it was like yesterday, was it? No, not yesterday. The day before, I stopped at Starbucks. I'm like, I'll get him coffee, I'll get him some lunch. But he had already eaten lunch. So he's like, oh, I already ate. Like, just put it in the fridge, I'll have it for tomorrow. So I was like, oh, how'd you like it? And he did. He likes his lunch from Starbucks. So, um, so that's the aim of the game is to go to Starbucks. I might get him, like, because I got him a venti coffee, black, because that's how he likes it. But I'm thinking I might do, like, a venti or a grande uh, black coffee, and then I might see if the iced teas that they have, if any of them come unsweetened, if they're all sweetened, mm -mm, cause he doesn't like sweet tea, he prefers his iced tea unsweetened, cause I'm like, I know they have a green iced tea, so then I was thinking, ooh, cause it's like, you know, um, warm out today, like get him a nice cool refreshing drink, and then maybe like a snack for later. My brother's been sick and this is his first day back to work. So I was thinking of getting him like some juice and like either a bagel or like a, a donut or like some little like muffin pastry thing from Starbucks. Um, because I now force myself to go into social situations that make me very uncomfortable where I feel extremely awkward and where I'm forcing myself to use currency like paper money and coins because of my anxiety, I panic, and it's just so, it's a lot easier to whip out a debit or credit card, and I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore, and I am making, you know, a living, I have cash in my wallet, like, I can, I can use it, like, it's my money, so it's just funny, because every time I go to work, um, that, that I now, like, make a stop somewhere, and I've taken up a new hobby, 
crocheting. Am I any good at it? No. I've just learned how to make a chain, is that what it's called? So, um, I got a bunch of people that want to teach me, and if I get the gist of it, there may be, uh, once a week, uh, in the evening, a bunch of us, uh, gonna, like, meet up at Starbucks and, uh, like crochet together for how long I don't know um more details on that to come because I don't even have them all I just know that someone the person who was thinking of organizing this like I guess got in contact with someone at Starbucks and they were just like yeah like we wouldn't mind if you had a bunch of people come like like late afternoon early evening and like y'all crochet together or whatever um so there's that and I've just been like really busy and it's a good thing. It can get exhausting at times. Um, I want to do like other things or I want to like have a day off and I almost took today off but I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go anyway and I'll be like honest with y'all like sometimes I like I will work work and like I make sure I get paid for my time but other times I just chill. I just come and I just hang out do my thing and it's just because it's getting me out of the house. It's I'm practicing my driving, I'm making pit stops at places, like, maybe, like, one day I'll, like, pick up my mom's dry cleaning, like I did that one time in that video y'all liked, or it's, like, picking up my prescriptions, or maybe, like, hopping in, like, a CVS and seeing what's up, or, like, going to a grocery store and getting cat food, <coughs> things like that, you know, so, um, working on my independence and doing more things and hopefully like I can hang out with like Elizabeth again um or like you know like meet some new people this way and ma make friends and just like we were made to be social beings so to constantly be in isolation it can get like you know you can get lonely depending on how far gone you are it can get depressing like there's just a lot, and I feel like the more you force yourself to do things you don't, this is, not that you don't like per se, like, yeah, you have to force yourself maybe to go to a dentist, but, like, to just be social, like, it's nerve-wracking, and it'd be easier to just stay home and be a couch potato, but you're not gonna grow, like, nothing great ever comes by staying in your comfort zone, and you have to remember that, like, what, like your comfort zones now there are once new frontiers and things that you were just like scared and didn't want any part of but now they're like part of your life and you could imagine certain things you know not being in your life but at one time I'm sure it scared you so I'm gonna get on with things and I'll check in with y'all later um it's just very nerve-wracking is what it all is but yet like I make myself like I'm forcing myself to do things where it honestly would be so much easier to just crawl back into bed or just stare on this couch, watch TV. I mean, today I really could, like, edit a bunch of videos and stuff. And if I want to, I could bring my laptop in. Um, but I probably should actually, like, do get some, like, work done. I think my dad has some gardening stuff for me to do today. And he's leaving for California um, tomorrow. So, like, you know, and it's time I'm not going to hang out with him. That's good. Uh, I think my mom poured herself, like, some medicine over there um, and didn't take it. Or she took a sip of it, and that's it. Because last night, she's like, I really could use some mucinex. I'm, like, all clogged up, and I'm thinking, I'm, th I'm thinking, didn't you do that earlier? Guess not. I got my crystal on today. My sodiolite. Here for your throat chakra that helps with the communication. <laughs> So I got to the office, I worked my butt off, then grabbed a dinner with my mom, now I'm home, and we're gonna then go out to like TJ Maxx or do something fun, and then clean the house, which isn't fun, so I'm gonna go ahead on inside. <sighs> tired, um, so we went to uh, TJ Maxx last night. I picked out two things for my grandma that she wanted. I didn't get anything for myself. Um, and then we played with some kitty cats. Well, not so much played as pet with them. There's a pet value that was nearby. And they had these like black and white cats. And they were just so cute and soft. And then we went to, was it Harmon's? 
other like beauty supply store thing and they have like other mishmash stuff and I found uh, these protein bars that I really like that I found them somewhere I, mean, I don't remember I want to say it was like a Dean's Market or something but you can't find them in like mainstream grocery stores also they sell them in Publix in Florida so got a bunch of those um, and then we went and walked around Home Goods, and I don't think I got anything, but my mom got, like, two pillows. Yeah, I didn't get anything. I looked at a lot of stuff, though. Um, and then we came home, and we cleaned a little bit. I straightened up, um, my bedroom some, cleaning out a closet and posting stuff to sell online. Uh, and, um, straightened up my bathroom, we watched some TV, and it's the next day, obviously, I'm making my lunch, and the stuff I posted last night, people are interested in it right now, which is exciting, so I'm, like, trying to organize all that, then I'm going to post some more stuff, and go from there, and work out other little ideas and details to move stuff out of my bedroom and my bathroom. <laughs>